Last time on Total Drama Destiny. The remaining contestants had a pretty wild auction, followed by a wild chase for a feral Ezekiel who sounded like he was dying every second he made a sound. In the end, Dawn managed to help the creature out, winning herself individual immunity. Noah ultimately was the one to go home, but not before making himself a deal with Courtney for 50% of her money if she wins. Alongside that, we had Dawn and Scott do a little something, which I don't think Courtney would approve of very much. <laughs> Lindsay, however, did manage to stumble upon this commotion. How will the drama unfold? And who will be going home today? Find out on this episode of... Total Drama Destiny! Any luck on farting plainly? Unfortunately not, Chris. The last place she was seen on camera was around the back of the island. Well, she's after me, sir, and I need her to go right now. All right, man. I'll keep looking. Good. Fortunately, I'll be at Pony Island today with my uh, remaining victims, so I shouldn't have to worry about her today. Do you have the plane ready for tomorrow, by the way? It's quite a long flight to Hawaii. Yes, I do. Although the plane is a little rough still. I don't care. As long as it won't crash and burn, then it's fine, dude. Hi there, Lindsay. How are you doing? Um, <laughs> I'm perfectly fine. Okay, then. Hey there, little one. Dawn, I have to tell you that I saw you and Scott kiss last night. Wait, you did? Yeah, I did. Sorry. Is it okay if you can keep a secret for me? I don't really like keeping secrets, to be honest. But I'll try. Well, I don't like hiding secrets either, so I understand. You know, with the whole Chris thing and now this Dawn and Scott stuff, it's been very stressful on me. But you know what? I'm so close to the end now, I might as well try to win the million dollars. I'm so glad I made that deal with Noah. Yeah, I'm glad too. You would have been gone for sure otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I'm so close to the money. I can almost taste it. Well, hold on. If you win, I think I should get some of that money too. <laughs> you wish. I just got an idea, though. Oh, nice. What is it? Well, if we end up being the final two, I'll just let you win and we can split the money 50-50. I would much rather share the money with you than with Noah. That wasn't part of Noah's stupid deal. That's a good idea, actually. I'll think about it. <laughs> Ooh. It's really hard to talk to Courtney now after kissing Dawn behind her back. I like them both, but I need to make a decision quick, or else I'm screwed. Welcome to Boney Island! This is such a fantastic place for challenges. <laughs> I don't like this place very much. Anyway, today's challenge is relatively simple. Each you will be put at four corners of the island with this unique item to help you out through your challenge. 
The first player to grab the sword in the direct center of the island will win individual immunity and will get the sole vote for tonight. Now, of course, as you may find, getting to the center of the island may have some obstacles along the way. <laughs> um, so what are our items? You'll find out soon. This is not going to be fun. All right, let's see what I have to help me. A paintball gun? It's better than nothing, I suppose. A bicycle in this rough terrain? Seriously? A cage? How is that helpful? Is this a map? Oh, it is a map! That's actually kind of helpful. Wait, what's this? Ah, it's a love note! Burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it now! That works too. I see how it is. Anyways, let the challenge begin! Now! Alright, I have no idea where I'm going, so I hope I get lucky here. I seriously hate this place. It's like a jungle in here. As long as Fang isn't around, I should be fine. Alright, so the sword is this way. Ow! Stupid tree! Hi there. What would you like to show me? You say the sword is that way? Thank you very much. You know, there are many reasons to love Mother Earth. And that is certainly one of those reasons. Alright, where the hell are you? Phew, that was close. I don't think Chris is on the island anymore, which sucks. Have you found Blainly yet? No, I haven't yet, Chris. Well, I'd rather not be stuck on Pony Island now, okay? I might still be able to get the plane over there after the challenge if you want. So that's where Chris is. Oh, he is so going down. <laughs> I have to make sure to be careful in here. These mutant freaks won't hesitate to end me. Take this! <laughs> Just saying hi. <laughs> Wait, is that Courtney I can hear? I need to get to her now! Oh, hey! I wasn't expecting to stumble into you there, but I'm sure glad I did. Don, I don't know if I can do this to Courtney. It's okay, Scott. Just calm down for a moment. Well, I have no idea what I want. You made things so complicated. I understand. If you want to stick with Courtney, I won't be mad. I do like you a lot. And I can tell deep down you're having a hard time right now, but it is ultimately your decision as to what you want to do. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't know how much longer I can handle this guilt for. Yes, I found the plane! I'm coming for you, Chris! Wait, what's, what's the plane doing up there? Oh no. Chris, I think Blainley's in the plane, and it looks like she's coming straight for you. Seriously, how did you let that happen? I'm sorry, Chris. Alright, let's do this! Oh, that's not good. Blaine, please? Get back here right now, you backstabbing douchebag! Ah! Alright, I should almost be in the middle. Yes! I see the sword! I just wish it wasn't surrounded by, well, whatever that is. Oh, thank goodness I found you! Chris?
Miss, what are you doing here? I think I lost her for now, but Blainly is here on this island. Jeff, get the police here. I don't care if I have to bribe them again. I'm going to go ahead and try to get the sword now. I, I need to say something to you first. Because you're making a, a very big mistake here. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Bye. I see the sword. Look, there's the sword just over that pit and through all those mutant creatures. What the hell are you doing walking with Dawn? I can't do this. C Courtney, I need to tell you something now. No. No, not now, Scott. This is a very bad time. Me and Dawn kiss behind your back. I am so sorry. What? Tell me you're joking. Please. I'm being serious. Do you like me still? Of course I do. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you that. Fair enough. Hold on. Where did Dawn go? Oh, that is very, very bad indeed. What have I done? This log should help me cross. All right. The sword is just over there. I'm getting there first, Lindsay. Oh, you better get back here right now, you evil witch! Can someone just hurry up and win the challenge already? How about I make you hurry up instead? <laughs> hey, there. I think it's about time that this show finally dies. <laughs> ah, somebody help me! You can go save yourself. Oh, God! Somebody help me! Fine, I'll try and save you. It's so refreshing to see you helpless for once, Chris. Take that! Grab my head! Quickly! Okay. Gotcha. You won't get away this time. No, it can't end like this. <laughs> Good job, Chef. Let's just make sure she gets locked up for real this time. Yes! I got the sword! Sorry, Courtney, but that doesn't matter. What do you mean by that? Saving my life trumps all. Well, except maybe for a serious injury. <laughs> Either way, Lindsay wins a mutiny and guess tonight's sole vote. For saving my life. I can live with that. Yes, I could have let the weirdo drop in the pit. But unlike him, I have something called morals and empathy. Also, yes, I'm making it to the final three. That's so awesome. This is some BS. I should have won the challenge. I can only pray now that Lindsay doesn't vote me off. You don't have to keep the kiss a secret anymore, Lindsay. Oh? Why not? Courtney knows about it now. Yes, I do. And I'll make sure you pay for it, Dawn. Seriously? I just felt like Scott deserved someone better than you. And that's just saying something. Are you calling me a bad person? Yes, I am, Courtney. I wish I could get both hotties, but that's definitely not going to happen. Looks like I'm going to have to make a choice now. Lindsay, can you please vote out Dawn? I'm sorry, but I already know who I'm eliminating. Wait, no. I know we're not much of friends or anything, but please, I can't lose now. You can't change my mind, Courtney. I've already made up my mind. Are you all right, Courtney? No, I am obviously not, Scott. Everyone, meet up with me at the docks now. 
I always try so hard to win, but it just... It never happens. Welcome, everyone. I am extremely happy to say that Blaney is finally under police custody. Yes, I found man. I am also happy to say it looks like Lindsay here with her soul vote finally realizes how perfect I actually am. No, you are not. I don't ever want to date you, you creepy man! You better take that back right goddamn now. Anyways, Lindsay, who will you eliminate? I'm going to eliminate... I'm sorry, Scott. You have to go. What? What did I ever do to you? Nothing, really. I just feel like I have a better chance of winning if Dawn and Courtney are fighting each other the whole time. Whatever. I see how it is. Of course it's me. I can never win this stupid show! I'm not sure how I feel about Scott right now, but I appreciate him telling me about everything. It's a shame I kind of caused his elimination, though. Dawn, on the other hand, she's going down. Well, I made it to the final three. This isn't exactly how I wanted things to go, though. Well then, Scott, it's finally your time to take the dive. Wait, what do you mean by that? Any final words? Cause like, Fang has been waiting for you all season. Ah! Um, okay then. We are now down to our final three competitors. Which one of them will win the one million dollars. Find out next time at our final location on the final episode of Total Drama Destiny.